Welcome back, everybody. It's time for the hot tags, or I should say hot tag, because there's only one thing to talk about this week. It's been a very slow week. I am ignoring all of the TNA stuff. That's been the only story that people are talking about, because I don't want to talk about it until we actually have something solid. And all this rumor and hearsay we've been hearing about Smashing Pumpkins and Shane McMahon and all that, it's the same kind of stuff you hear from movie casting and all that and it never ends up turning out to be anything but so but but mango if, if you can't trust the wrestling observer and dave Meltzer, who can you trust you can trust right. some mark out moment scoop, that's who scoop, you can scoop. trust <laughs> uh the only thing that i came across this week though that seemed to be of any real importance for the most part if you can kind of even say that is the former TNA knockout Roxy has announced that she is retiring from wrestling so right after uh Caval, or low-key, or whatever you want to call him, is well, deciding to yeah. retire. Roxy is going to retire as well. Two people that never made anything of themselves in WWE and aren't, like, these huge, huge names, even though they were big in TNA. So, uh, it's a shame, I guess, if she's retiring for any kind of negative reason. I don't really necessarily know why I'm... Assuming it's just she's done with it and, oh, well, she's moving on with her life. And if that's what the the situation, then, hey, good. You know, sometimes you need to get out of that kind of stuff. But I don't really know too much about Roxy. I wasn't really into TNA ever. So my experience with Roxy has been very limited. I've seen a couple matches when she was this voodoo person. And I've seen a couple when she wasn't. She was kind of like a hardcore person uh, with you know, semi-shaved head and all that, but she was all right. So that's basically all I have to say about it. So I'm going to go around the horn here because there's not too much else we're going to do. So, uh, Steven, what do you think about Roxy retiring? I'm not too bothered. I was more interested in Mark Henry dress- dressing up like Rick Ross for Halloween. <laughs> Burhan? Um, I didn't really care very much for it. And the, the reason being... It just seems like every now, well, in this recent day and age, um, professional wrestlers seem to quit rather easily. You know, you've, you've got guys who like, oh, it's not working out. I'm just going to quit. Where back in the old days, you have more sterner stuff. So cry babies. <laughs> no, well, to be f- to be fair, though, the, the, the schedules back in the day weren't as, as rough as they were are, as they are today, at least in the big companies. And yeah, but really, and... give them more options. Honestly, now they can be actors. Is, is that exactly what you did? Quiet, <laughs> 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 Peyton. Go back in your box. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> so, Miguel, your thoughts on Roxy? I always found her cute. I don't know. I, don't, I never found her like too sexy, but I always found her cute for some reason. It, especially when she came back that third time and she was doing the uh, fitness gimmick. Well, it seemed like she was doing a like fitness bodybuilder type gimmick. I always found her kind of cute. Um, in terms of her wrestling ability, I mean, I give her credit for reinventing herself in the hardcore style. You know, even though she's more known as just a straight up like mat wrestler. Well, not mat wrestler, but just a, a worker type wrestler. Um, it's unfortunate. I, I don't think she would have ever been a huge star, but we could have used more talented workers like her on the roster. I, I really think there could have been a spot for her in the WWE, but I guess if she felt she couldn't make it in the big time, that's unfortunate. And there, she's already tried TNA and TNA really less said the better. Um, but, uh, it's unfortunate cause I, w- I was a fan of hers. I, I really was. And, uh, it, it's, it's unfortunate, you know, it's unfortunate having to walk away from something like that. But if she's in a better place now, then more power to her. That sounds like this is an obituary. If she's in a better place now. <laughs> <laughs> like going to TNA is like, you might as well just hang yourself. At least she ain't <laughs> suffering anymore. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 she, put her, she put herself out of her misery. Right. Round us out. Peyton, your thoughts? Who? <laughs> I guess that's a good one. It's about uh, right. Uh, why is it when it comes to TNA people, I'm not a dick? Like I, I, I'm the only one that gives them like, oh, it's unfortunate. You know, I was a big fan of these guys. Ever somebody else? Who? Huh? Uh, no, TNA? no, no, no. I, I, I have something actually to say. 
I wonder how long it's going to be till she does her porno night at the Roxy Berry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please I'll... don't co-star China. <laughs> one can only... Roxy. Yeah, one can only hope. I'd watch that. <laughs> You'd watch the shit out of it. Yeah. All right, coming up in part three, we're gonna have a trailer for that. <laughs> <laughs> For a hand, get on that. You've got the production value. <laughs> Total opposite. We're going to take a little bit of a break in the rest hold, and then we're going to come back with Hell in a Cell pay-per-view review.